Hey yeah, guys, day number, another day number adventure, day number three of the uh, world famous longest bus ride, longest coach ride around the world from the um, Atlantic in Sao Paulo to the Pacific in uh, Peru. We're now in, in uh, Lima and we're now in Peru. This is, um, I just, I just, well, it's, it's the morning of day number three. I thought like almost sunrise. I just thought I'd uh, video this because. This is the part, a strange part. For some reason, we had to get out and we just had to walk um, a few minutes. And we're now we're on this boat. I didn't realize the boat until now. I've just crossed the road and I had to cross. I've not got my contact lenses in, so I can hardly see. Mosquitoes biting me everywhere. And that's, the, that's our bus there. That's our coach. But yeah, we're crossing this bus now. So, five day trip, day number three. Over there, chair. No, that's not water. I thought it was water. What's over there? It's a motorbike, like the motorcycle diaries. Yeah, you should let us see now motorcycle diaries when they cross on the bridge. It's been really lethargic recently. I've just been missing Rio de Janeiro. I keep thinking I should go back. I might go back. I'm only doing this because I'm a cast. It gives me a chance to heal. You know, and I can't. It's got to heal in four weeks, so I've got five days just laying down and resting. Well, this would be a good excuse since I can't do nothing in Rio de Janeiro because I'm always moving, you know, I'm always training or something. So I thought this would be a good excuse to see Machu Picchu and then just come straight back. Not like a diary, it's like the mighty one. Check this, check this back out. I can see some lights over there. We're in Peru now. We're, I, think, I think we're near Cusco. We haven't, we haven't come to Cusco yet because we have to drop some people off in Cusco. But yeah, this is strange. And you've never seen a, bo uh, a bus ride like this. They have to actually get out. I'm not sure where we get out. I think because the road is too, um, too dangerous. And the uh, people might you know, rock it over. Yeah, we have to cross this boat now. The lake there is really murky. You can tell we're in the Amazon. I think the Amazon is just over there someplace. Uh, it's, too, it's too dark to see it, but I could tell the past two, uh, day and a half that we've been near the Amazon because all the water is just really mur murky and I can't believe how huge the Amazon is because we've just been traveling for days now and, and every single thing I've seen has just been you know, the same kind of water, like really murky, like the kind of thing that you you don't want to go in because you just know there's going to be like crocodile or something underneath there, you know, because you can hardly see. Um, so yeah, just, I mean, I saw crocodiles back in Rio de Janeiro and that was, that's really clear water kind of, you know, but here it's just still, uh, I wouldn't want to be in that water. Yeah, the past two days has been nothing but um, seeing jungle, beautiful jungle, but it's just, you can hardly see because we've, just, most of the time at night time, I think, we've um, been traveling through the Amazon. Well, right next to the Amazon, not through it. It's uh, day number three. Well, day number, um, year number two in NoFap. Two years NoFap. And today I'm starting my day of, um, I'm starting my water fast today. This is my second day water fast. I've just been starting my water fast today. I'm gonna to see if I can go weak. Because I'm just, I can't, I can't do training. I can't do all the things that I plan to do. You know, we train, I plan to do kickboxing training, and do kickboxing competition, but I can't since I've broken my life. So, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of, um, I'm not chilling because I can't waste time. I've been writing my book. I've been learning some Portuguese. I'm gonna, I promised myself to finish writing this book by the time I arrive in Lima so I've got you know two more days and I've almost finished I finished all the major parts so yeah I'm just like in the final act of this book now so we're gonna finish that we're learn some Portuguese and we're gonna play some more learn some um, more guitar so, so whenever I get broken bone I always learn some other skills I can't do anything physical uh, you know make the most of my brain like Bruce Lee did Bruce Lee damaged his back you know for and he was hospitalized for six months. 
So he focused on you know what he would put in his book. He didn't write his book then, like so many people believe, like in the movie. But he um, he wrote it another time. He compiled notes, and notes were all put together by his wife. Yeah, no worries, I'm just writing a book now, just so I get that off my head, just so, just so I can clear my conscience, you know, just so I feel good about it, so I can concentrate on other things in life. But yeah, and then, um, do my water fast, I'm going to take for a week, I think of water, because I hate wasting time. I feel what good that will do, just drinking water on the second day, and I feel okay now because I've just been eating a bunch of crap. Before I, did, before I started doing my water fast the other day, so I have to because I'm already pretty skinny, you know, I'm already pretty slim, so doing a water fast when you're slim and built and athletic isn't good, it's only good if you're like really kind of overweight, but yeah. Um, I'm doing it now because uh, I just had the past few, past few days I've just been eating a bunch of crap, so it's Good time to do a water fast, especially since uh, I can't move that much with my leg. I can't wait to move again though. I want to go out to Rio de Janeiro and oh, really? you know, Argentina. I feel like I'm leaving stuff behind, like the motorcycle diaries. And the, um, the quote that said, Che Guevara wrote, wrote in his notes that um, uh, that two things from leaving the country it was uh, excitement for the country ahead and melancholy for what we're leaving behind. Sadness really right and after that now I feel sadness really by behind Rio de Janeiro. No matter how exciting and everything um Colombia maybe in Peru. I just feel like I'm miss I'm leaving stuff behind. So I scratching my ankle couldn't ski so bike. I feel like I'm leaving stuff behind that I haven't fulfilled yet and I'm sh I shouldn't be here like my heart my gut is telling me to go back to Rio de Janeiro. But I know that um Colombia's gonna be lots of fun, I know that but I still feel like I should go back because I feel like, I feel like I'm missing something. I need to fulfill something, either kickboxing competition or anything else. So, once I'm doing my legs, I'll probably go straight back.